Because I feel like most relationships, they start off just like sexual. Yeah, like and I think that's nowadays. okay too. I mean, but sometimes then you're just basing it off of the sexual chemistry and you're not thinking about all the other ways yeah. you maybe don't align. Yeah. So that and that's how you get stuck in the toxic toxic relationship. Yeah, definitely. For a while. Right. Absolutely. Because and you just they got because you have that good sex and like yeah. mm-hmm. and you're honestly you're just like too weak of a person to be like, you know, I don't care about good sex anymore. I care about like getting treated right and yeah, somebody who makes you me get, a better person yeah. and like not when I what we fuck for like 10 minutes you know right <laughs> well and also i think i got addicted to like the up and down of it like okay now yeah. we're doing good i must be doing everything right and then it would go bad and i'm like what am i doing wrong like yeah it was just like well, that the drama and down. it was the drama the it's toxicity like it's it. literally addicting because like so, i just want and i thought i was the problem so i just wanted it to be fixed i don't understand you know what i mean this is what the thing i don't understand because it's and maybe guys are like this too but it seems like a lot of women like that toxic yeah like you talk talk to girls oh my last boyfriend was so toxic but then he'll like call her up and say hey, and they're like well because it's like know, it's, it's like, like literal I, heroin it like is, you it does, yeah. it does the, it same, does the thing same thing to your in brain. your brain really because mm-hmm. i can't it stand toxic i'm like but like at, i don't got but time when you're like, younger though could you because like i've definitely been in some toxic relationships there yeah. is like this it's weird feeling you like feel so you're much, just you just want to hang out yeah you're just addicted to like all, like, that ple- up and like down. pleasing this person too almost. yeah you like put them up on a pedestal yeah. like you're like they're the best person ever like i'm worth nothing yeah. if they don't want me especially yeah, like when you get bad. like a really big fight and like if it's say it's their fault but like they you give apologize you, they give yeah. you the silent treatment so and you then, fucking that apologize yeah. dude yeah. Yeah. that's then, so absolutely. bullshit dude, and then they respond to you it just feels like the best fucking feeling in the world that's what you. i mean so like, that's what actually. i was like, used like, to. i've been in those relationships too like being the guy who's like who's feeling like fuck i just need to like get this person to like uh like forgive me you know even though i felt i probably didn't do shit at the time yeah I don't know. Maybe, no, it's, maybe. But it's just, it's really like crazy how like we just like crave that person's like yeah. acceptance. Mm-hmm. You so know, that we did. Okay. Yeah. So I dated somebody like that for six years and was engaged to them. And when I left that relationship and then after a while found something like healthy, that healthy felt boring to me because yep. I was like, why aren't we fighting? Yeah. I'm like, what's like, what's wrong with this? You know, I'm so used to like this crazy bullshit and fighting. And I thought that that was normal and that was love. Mm-hmm. And then you find somebody that you don't do that with. And you're like, I want to fight with you. Like, yeah. come on, let's She's fucking a go. Fighter. 